Assalamu alaikum YouTube viewers. The topic of today's video is electrolytic cells. So today I am going to describe what are the electrolytic cells and how do they work. So first of all, an electrolytic cell is a cell which uses the electrical energy, okay, which uses the electrical energy to bring about a chemical change, okay, in which electrical energy is used to start to proceed a reaction, okay. So first of all, what you need to do is just to take a beaker okay and in it what you have to do is put molten sodium chloride so here what is present here it is molten sodium chloride okay here molten sodium chloride is present and this here is an electrode and this here is an other electrode and they are connected with positive and negative terminal of the battery so this here is a battery okay and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to one electrode and positive terminal of the battery is connected to the other electrode okay so since this electrode is attached with a negative side of the battery so it gains a negative charge okay i repeat that this electrode is attached with the negative side of the battery so this electrode will have a negative charge and as you know that negative charges attract the positive charges okay so this sodium in the molten sodium chloride when the sodium chloride is in the molten form the sodium will have a positive charge and chloride will have a negative charge and since this sodium has a positive charge and this electrode here negative charged electrode so this sodium will be attracted by this electrode okay so as you know that uh, cations cations have positive charge okay as you know that the cations have positive charge so they are attracted by negative charge attracted by negative electrode okay so now the cations have positive charge and they are attracted by the negative electrode so this negative electrode will be called cathode okay since this electrode attracts the positively charged cations so this electrode will have a negative charge and this negatively charged electrode will be called cathode okay this will be called cathode because it will attract cations okay so this is known as cathode because it attracts the cation sodium here similarly the anode has a positive charge and chlorides are attracted by it so why an anode why the positively charge is called anode because here as you can see that negative charge are called anions and these anions are attracted by this electrode so this electrode is given the name anode okay since anions are attracted by this electrode so this electrode is called as anode so what reactions take place first of all at cathode take example of cathode here what happens at cathode as you can see that here the battery supplies the negative charge mean the battery supplies the, the electrons the battery supplies the electrons so these electrons have uh, passing after passing through the wire comes into this electrode okay this sodium ion this sodium positive will attract these will be attracted by these electrons so this sodium ion will accept these electrons and will deposit here okay and will deposit here so what will what will be the reaction here as you can see that sodium positive okay this sodium positive will accept the electron from this electrode will accept the electron from this electron and will give out sodium metal okay and similarly at a node what will happen at a node as you can see here that a node here this chloride ion will lose electron at a node due to positively charged since chloride ion has a, a negative means the chloride has an electron has an extra electron chloride negative means that negative charge means that the chloride has an extra electron and this electron will be um, lost will be lost at this anode okay so this electron will be lost at this color so the reaction will be like cl negative will give out cl2 2 cl negative will go 2 cl plus 2 electron okay and if i talk about sodium 2 sodium 2 electron and 2 na so if i combine these two equation the overall reaction will be 2 na positive plus 2 cl negative giving out na solid 2 na solid plus 2 plus cl2 plus only cl2 okay so this equation is balanced and as you can see that these two electron cuts with these two electrons so overall equation becomes just like this so this is the electrolytic cells okay